Hey, so what's up guys? Uh, I'm uh, finishing this video about mink hunting here within the city limits. This bit here, this is the island just off Reykjavik city. Misha, Kote. So uh, Icelandic Elements is a private tour company. If you're interested in coming and, and visiting Iceland, then if you would like me to show you around, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Misha, Kote. Yeah. So Misha here, hop, she's the star of the video, she's a super well trained mink hunting dog that my friend Snorri the West Viking owns. Um, yeah, consider subscribing to the channel if uh, you want to see more videos from Iceland. Thanks for watching. As you can see guys, uh, Misha is showing all signs of a smell, so we had been walking for a few minutes when she located the mink. There you can hear it, you know, screaming at us or, or you can hear it. Misha is uh, so excited that she's fighting the grass and, and doing everything she can to get to it. But uh, with a wooden stick like this, it's uh, pretty hard. Good day here. By this point I basically had given up hope of catching it because he has so many places to go and escape to so uh, he can travel underground without us seeing it. So I decided to uh, go for a little walk and come back later. So when we walked away we saw this falcon. He was uh, eating uh, something that he had killed and when we came close he came and checked us out. The Icelandic falcon is the biggest falcon in the world and the second fastest when it goes into the dive bomb. You know. Amazing to just watch how she works, runs and uses her senses. Now we are uh, walking with the wind to our faces, so uh, it is a good thing for her, obviously. There is a mink here on the way, we found it already, but with no leaf blower and no shotgun, not really easy to do, but it's a good exercise, beautiful day. So what happened, uh, the mink obviously knew that we knew where he was located, so I'm guessing that he decided to move. The mink must have been injured by his account counter or you know, when Misha found him, because uh, was uh, not that hard to uh, fish out of his hole, so I'm guessing that she, he was already injured because they're pretty tough animals. What I did, I basically knocked him in the head two times or so and knocked him out of his hole. Is 
So as you can see, not much live in it. Usually there's a big fight if it's a male mink like this one, big one. So uh, she probably bit him or caught him before I saw them or caught up to her. She is so well trained. This is what she does. It's her what she was trained for by my friend, the West Viking. If you're interested, uh, interested in, in more mink hunting, I definitely recommend the four episodes I did with the West Viking, the most famous hunter here in Iceland. It's uh, almost an hour of, of a video. Check that out if you're interested, I totally recommend it. Misha, Fina. your city girl now, beautiful, so that's an adult uh, male mink, pretty big, we managed to do it here just in the city, with only a wooden stick, pretty happy with that, so yeah, awesome, so out of Snorri's dog, the West Viking, my friend, Misha is the one who likes to uh, hold the mink the longest. That's what Snorri told me at least. Pretty obvious. So she is pr proud of uh, her kill and taking it back to the car. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage, I think, on the way, but uh, nevertheless. It's an awesome day, only with a stick. Usually you use a leaf blower and a gun, but uh, in the city limits. So. This is how we do it. Yeah, God, Demisha. Art is on a vein. Yow, yow. Yow, yow.